live from NetFest. It's a podcast with twice the podcasters, but half the knowledge. It's Guys, Games, and Beer! Yeah. Hey, here we are at NetFest. And Mike's talking out of turn as usual. God damn it, somebody spank Mike. I'll slap him. All right. <laughs> right on his booty. <laughs> so, Rob, what beer are we drinking tonight? Uh, Jesus Christ, time. That's it's really Belgium hard. Accumulation. Accumulation? <laughs> New Belgium <laughs> Accumulation. Accumulation. It is a white Indian pale ale out of, from the New Belgium Brewery here in Wisconsin. That is good. I gotta tell you, I want to accumulate some of this in my belly. I know, I know. This is a good, this is a good IPA. <laughs> I love the cover of it. It's a fucking trailer. Welcome to Rose. Wow, this is really... From not uh, Wisconsin. I got the wrong stuff. Never mind. Yeah. Oh well. Um, you suck. I do suck. I was suck. thinking New Belgium was like, this is not a Wisconsin beer. This is Fort Collins, Colorado. It is. Oh well. Hundred point achievement for Ben. He got something right. Good job, Ben. For one. It's, it's still delicious though. It is a delicious yeah. beer though. It's delicious. It is good, but it does look like northern Wisconsin because they don't get that kind of snow in, in Colorado, and they sure don't have those kind of trailer homes in Colorado. We do in northern Wisconsin, though. Yeah, That's well, right. It's Wisconsin. You been up north? <laughs> Everything's, it's like North Korea. Oh, my word. Oh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. It's like North Korea, but sexier. But sexier. So, <laughs> but, okay, ladies and gentlemen. What's sexier than Kim what Jong? The, uh, what's the verdict on this one? I'm going, I'm oh, yeah, that's a thumbs up. Thumbs up on this I find that set of bars. I'd say it's kind of only. It's, it's good, good for the guys. I don't like IPAs. I'm not a big fan of them. I'm just like, oh, oh, then I can fish your beer for you easily if you'd like me to. You kiss my ass. <laughs> Anybody else have an opinion on the beer? Uh, but for an IPA, I'm not a big IPA drinker either. And this is actually, I can down this. You can down this. It's, oh, no. it's, I will drink IPAs. It's just I prefer not to. So that's what I'm saying. It's good, but for me, I'm just like, meh. No, I'm good with it. I could, I could definitely. I could have another one. Oh, well, you could, but we have, I know, but there's none left. We kind of finished all those off already. This was it. So the guys love it, and the neutered males, they say they'll deal with it. Okay, so wait a minute. Um, I mean, I could just prove it. There's another one. No. Oh. Hey, guys, all right. Yeah, could you do that, please? Yeah, let me just. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Oh, okay. This is a family show. Before the show gets started. It's a terrible family show. Before the show gets started, everybody kind of left early on Christmas, and you guys all missed Dolph. Dolph stopped at the Christmas party after you guys left. That drunken bastard. Where's he been? I'm evidently busy. So, but he left us a package. <laughs> Last time Dolph left me his package, I had to have a rape test. So evidently, 2G2B loved Dolph. So evidently, uh, he kind of left a package for the, the cast members of G2B. It, it looks like a freaking fish. I, I think he sent us a tuna. No, it doesn't smell like a tuna. All right. Something for you from Dolph. Something from you from Dolph. Is that how they're marked, Tom? Is it marked you? Well, read it. What does it say on it? Love Dolph. Okay. It's got a little squiggle and a heart on it. Oh, man. Wow, it is a dolphin rape kit. Revenge, Dolph. Revenge. Yeah, Dolph, right there. Just put the semen oh, this is the cutest thing I've ever got. Thanks, Dolph. I found my new fat rag. I found my new fat rag. Well, I mean, it's Dolph's going to be around at uh, St. Patrick's Day again this right. year. I think he needs to come out for St. Patrick's Day again. Dolph needs to come out for St. Patrick's Day again. I think he might show up for the Midwinter Gaming Convention as well. Oh, Dolph needs to come to the Midwinter Gaming Convention. For those of you who don't know who Dolph is, look up Dolph. He's, uh, he's been quite the character on the show. Friend him on Facebook. He likes to have friends. Yeah, Dolph can never have enough friends on Facebook. I believe he raised almost every single person in G2B on St. Patrick's Day when we first met him. Yeah, I think he did. Usually only four people a year, but since but, Dolph showed up. But Dolph, Dolph kind of exceeded that. that. All right. Okay, so, Rob, what are we doing tonight? Well, we're going to talk about the games that we spent all of our freaking Christmas money on. And I'm gonna start with you, Tom, while I go find my laptop, because I kind of shit-loaded it. You did? 
I only bought one game so far. Really? Well, tell us all about it, Tom, while I run in. I got Counter Strike Go. It like was 50% off. 50% off. You finally got Counter Strike? It's a very good game. Great shooter. Thank you. Yeah, a continuation of, of Counter Strike. I played a lot of Counter Strike. Uh, 1.6 back in the day. And I have to say, Source I was okay with, yeah. but I really. I haven't played too much of it, but overall, my experience with Counter Strike Go has been awesome. I love it. See, well, that was me. I was a Counter Strike Source player, so and I love that. I got a, it's great. So that 3D tablet I've got, yeah. There is a 3D version of Counter Strike Source. Oh really? Oh, it's freaking awesome oh on God. that. That's so it plays so cool. beautifully. So I wanted to try Go, and I literally just got it while we were down here. It is perfect. I, it's so much fun. Exactly. Solid engine, solid work. I mean, the, the game plays beautifully. Actual mechanics like on the maps and everything. Everything, yeah, they still have all the classic maps and those all the user generated maps, which are so much fun too. But I love the fact that they included all the user generated things. Like the gun games are built into the game now. I I love gun games. They are so fun. And those of you who don't know, a gun game is where you have to cycle through every single gun in the game in order to win the the round. And it is just so much fun. Yeah, they did. They again, they did a good job incorporating all the user content into it as well. So again, if you haven't picked it up yet, it. I think it's still on sale on Steam, 50% off right now. Exactly it. I haven't played the game, but the Spectre you know one, I watched like the World Championship mm -hmm. for it, was amazing. Yeah. They did a really good job of just making it a spectator sport. Just like, you can see where your grenades can be thrown as spectator mode of like, okay, this is where the splash damage is gonna happen. You can do like, oh, there's this sight line, and I know it's problem mechanics that have already been there, but it was just so nice to see like, oh, you actually have it as a spectator yeah, sport. Yeah, you have a lot of nice features. Like you can see where every single player is on the map and stuff to mm -hmm. highlight them. It's really yep. cool. And you know what? I don't mind this spectation right now. It's Dolph action. It's, there's some Dolph action going on here. All right, Rob, you take that over. Okay, well, uh, how about it, Nubat? Did you buy anything off of Steam this year? No, I didn't buy anything off Steam. I thought you were talking to Ben about his game. No, no, he was talking about Counter Strike Go. We, 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 I picked up Counter Strike Go. Sorry about that, Ben. I'll come back to you. <laughs> I didn't buy anything off of Steam, but the last time I was talking about buying a game, I was talking about buying Little Big Planet 3, which I did get, and so far it's been awesome. How awesome? Uh, really awesome to the point of where I've been playing the PS4 more than Noob has. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. <laughs> I think I played it on the Vita. I liked it quite a bit. I don't know. All I know is that it's a bit different than the second one and the first one, but it's a lot more fun, I think. You get to do a lot more stuff, and there's more characters to it now. So. Sweet. No, I'm sorry, Ben, but you both had the same hair. I just mistook you two. Yeah, what? Look, look how gorgeous he is. Mm -hmm. I'm just a picture of beauty. That's true. <laughs> oh, you don't like my hair? Is that what that little sound was for? Why are you getting uppity? I didn't buy anything for... I don't have any money. But I've got three plays. And I've got a wish list. <laughs> well, you, 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 and I've got oh, go ahead. Ouch. That hurts. That hurts. No, I don't. Uh, I've been playing Neverwinter. I just downloaded Guns 2, The Duel. Been playing a lot of free to play. Because I'm broke. Oh, that game is fun. That game is awesome. It is. Like, have, did, did you play the original one? Hell yeah! That's the only way oh, you can play Guns. Oh, is Guns so 2, if only unless you played the original. Because oh. if you look into that game, it's just. It's a ridiculous shooter. Oh. That doesn't make any it's sense. It's so anime. It's so anime. It's free. And it's oh, it's, yeah, we got another 45 minutes of this, folks. Keep it up. <laughs> you can't get that. Can we keep talking about that? Yeah. Can you get that dick out of my face? <laughs> <laughs> Classic moments. All right, noob. All right. Tell us all about it. Where did he touch you? He's touching me right now. <laughs> Yeah, no one's doing anything about it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, for games, I actually bought Far Cry 4. Woohoo! But I can't play it because Ubisoft is dumb and the game crashes before I even can play the goddamn thing. 
Well, may happy you should have bought the motherfucker that I got you for Christmas, huh? Yeah, uh, I still have. Maybe you should have played that. I, I, I will. Maybe tonight. But I've been so busy playing. Up, I gotta fix my apartment up that uh, <laughs> games have not really been on my schedule. Uh, and also klutz. Yet I saw you uh, streaming yourself for two hours naked. I don't stream anymore, so. <laughs> You see, he denies it. Ladies and gentlemen, he denies what happened. You saw it here first. G2B, After Dark. How about a TIE Fighter? Well, uh, for myself, the only game I uh, bought for myself is Bolt Storm. Um, but that, there are a couple games I'm waiting to see if they pop on either the flash sales or the daily sales. Uh, Tomb of Tumor Crypt of the Necro Dancers is one I'm looking at. Ooh, that looks good, huh? Looking uh, to finally purchase some of the Assassin's Creed game, Assassin, Assassin's Creed games. I can speak English, I swear, um, and just some stuff Later. like that. But I am building a PC for my brother, and uh, for Christmas, I've just been going through the Steam sale, and buying him tons of games. I think I've bought him like a dozen or so games already, and they've all been major titles that've been released in the past couple years too. So, one I think he'll really like is the one that I really liked recently. Was I've talked about this on the last couple shows? Is Banner Saga? I did beat that, and I mean. Larry got me got me it for Christmas, so oh, it's a lot of fun if you're into that type of game. But pretty excited for the second one that's coming out too. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Is that gonna be um, Candy Crunch? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be Candy Crunch Banner Saga. Yeah, that's what I heard. Candy Crunch Crawl. Banner. Yeah. <clears throat> How about it, Krause? Do you, do you just want to play your game? Yeah, I would. <laughs> he just wants to play. His game. So he wants to play his game. Did you get anything on Steam? I did. What'd you get? This war of mine. How do you feel about that one? Uh, I actually, I really like it. So the graphics it's, are great. It's very, it, like, when you're actually playing the game, the graphics look like everything's, like, sort of penciled in. Like, the background. The characters look three-dimensional, and then everything else kind of looks penciled in in a weird sort of way. That's really, a complete side-scroller, right? Yeah. It's a complete side-scroller. I've only played maybe two hours of it. I died on my first playthrough because... Uh, soldier was walking away and I thought I could stab him. No, they whip around and they'll just shoot you. <laughs> so I lost half my people to shootings. This is not Shank, huh? No. But from what I played and what I've learned, I think I'll do all right. And it's a good game. I like it. Awesome. Anything else exciting? Uh, I picked up uh, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. That's great. You just cry on poop the whole game. It's pretty awesome, though, isn't it? I love that game. One of my favorite uh, rogue lights. Someone actually told me when I was doing a 24-hour stream to get that, and I did. It's a, it's a brand. Did you get the rebirth, or did you get the? Original? I got the original one. Yes, yeah, so no joystick the controls. The rebirth came out after I bought mine. So it was an afterbirth. Yeah, it was an afterbirth. But it's actually a really good game. It's always randomized. Like nothing's going to be the it's same. Game. Yeah, it's a fun game, it's a though. Yeah. It's I really love that game. It's like one of my go-to games. It's on here. Yeah. My, it's my mobile to-go game. Love it. Awesome. All right. Anybody? Sure, Run away. You still have money for beer. Priorities. All right. Hey. Yo. Yo. I played. Donkey Kong Kingdom. With what? But I bet it's. I want to dig on Steam. Next next week. Next week it will be on Steam. Oh, we're gonna have to cancel the show now. I'm sorry. No, actually, talk about it. What the? What the hell? Go ahead. We don't give a fuck about our topics anyway. Well. I did see one game on Steam that looked good. It's jazz punk. <laughs> this is what I'm uh, <laughs> oh, really? I watched a few playthroughs of that, and I laughed my ass off. The game is wacky. There's been a there's been a lot of talk about it. I mean, I watched a couple videos of it. I mean, uh, I, I know Donkey did a video of it, which is pretty funny there. Um, let's see. I, I then there's a couple of walkthroughs I watched for it, but the game looks nonsensically hilarious. Yeah, I need more of that. And it's on sale. It's uh, half off right now, so it's seven fifty. So. And he just got seventy-five cents for mentioning Steam. Good job. Good job. Good job. In jazz punk, wedding quake. <laughs> what the hell's that? It's 
It's basically Quake, only you're shooting uh, like wine caps at people, well, wine corks at people. It, 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 I was totally at a wedding like that, like last week. And there's the pizza waste. Yeah, you can play it in real life too. It's like Slender. Yeah. <laughs> it's like pizza zombies, cheese zombies. And then you're on the pepperoni road. Hey, I'm going to have to actually look into this. You're on this, aren't you? All pizza and no pizza makes pizza a pizza pizza. Oh, no, it starts with all work and no play makes Jack a dull pizza, and then it just devolves from there. Wait, all work and no toppings makes Jack a dull pizza. Aw. Pizza, pizza, pizza. How about it, Kevy? I've been taking advantage of the exchange rate and buying uh, buying DLC for my obscure European map games uh, from Brazil for <laughs> reduced price. I forgot about this. We discussed this before, didn't we? No, I don't. Yes, I, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> otherwise, most of what I was playing here, as far as uh, online went, was. Uh, this Guns of Icarus game that Travis and, and a couple others were playing. I was actually with. Uh, I spent most of the time playing with uh, JJ, uh, Maychek, and Troy, who are all very good at, I mean, who are relatively experienced. And no, it, 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 its learning curve was, was remarkably, I mean, as long as you're competent enough to know, like, okay, you know, how to prioritize things and so forth, and, you know, you're told by an experienced player, like, okay, this is the general approach to load. I mean, it's, you know, it's one of, like, you know, five, like, the options are relatively limited. Like, it's just, you, 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 it, I mean, you take certain roles on this, this ship. Like, you know, there's four players, like one pilot's at their, at any, any combination of engineers and gunners, and they fix things and shoot things, respectively, and they can dabble in the other. But yeah, it's just, it was pretty crazy, like, we were just, we, I mean, we were, well, we, we came up against, like, people who, like, real experts, like, they would just demolish us, but it was pretty exciting, nonetheless. I heard it's like Artemis, but, you know. Yeah, it's like, it's arcade it's, like, it's arcade Artemis. Arcademus. Yes. That sounds pretty good too. I, you know, uh, it came out originally. I think it's a pretty excellent sense of Artemis going before the power half, before the power, before the power flip. Is that what took out all the lights? Well, yeah, that was, I believe, when the lights finally gave up the ghost. And yeah, it was amazing. Like we were, like we had two ships that finally, had, like finally figured out how it worked well and like had cohered. And like we were just handling shit, and then it all went. Rumor has it it was Tom's fault. Is that true? I mean, it was just, I don't believe it was actually Tom's fault. I think it was more just that it was, you know, because this is an old building, like the wiring is, this is probably not. Yes, hold, hold a, net, a network festival at a fire hazard. That's a good idea. In a giant old building, basically. like, I mean, the space is amazing, but like, yes. Especially the rape dungeon. The wiring, yes, and the incinerator, which feels like a portal to hell. There's a stairway that goes to nowhere, it's crazy. Yeah, we got pictures uh, on our website of the uh, rape dungeons, and we'll probably do a little bit more in there. <laughs> Not rape, though. No, but yeah, we had like over in that little cluster over there, like we had our little ship going together, and like Travis was just coordinating things effectively. Like I was driving, and I mastered it by like by the time we by the time the great power outed. <laughs> no, I mean by four. No, I actually like I, I I docked by just zooming right in and stopping on a dive. Like, it took me a couple tries. Like, I got within, like, 400 meters, then 100, and then I just went right in. So it's got a little bit of monkey ball in it? I guess so. I don't know. Like, the docking is automatic. It's just slow if you're, like, 500 meters away. So I try to, like, shoot in as close as possible and then just slam on the docking button. Sounds a lot like... Sounds a lot like... Yeah, well, monkey ball. It's a place to be when you're playing Artemis. It's very true. Yeah. Well, especially, if you, especially if you're right next to the engineer, so you can ensure, like... You get your own line on power. I, I heard they always like pick somebody and screw with them. All right, I'm not going to talk about this. Tal is the perfect engineering interface, by the way. Like a full, like a good sized tablet, like is, is an excellent engineering interface because it's, so it's just pointing at things and sliding things. Like this is what the engineering interface focuses. It's like my job, you know. Well, yes, to a degree. Just saying. All right, any more steam? Um, yeah, I bought Shadow of Mortar on Steam, but I was such an idiot I didn't bring my desktop home when I came back for winter break, so all I had was my craptastic laptop, and sure as hell Shadow of Mortar can't play on that. Damn. I have that problem a lot. I, sorry, I got distracted by TIE Fighter. Uh, so besides jazz punk, as I was talking about earlier there, then uh, I've also been playing a, quite a bit more of Don't Starve. Uh, it's a game I picked up a while back there. It's kind of like a sandbox building survival horror-ish game. It has kind of a little bit 
like a darker theme to it, kind of sketch-looking drawing. Looks like so, Tim Burton drew it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like something Tim Burton would do. It's also like you're on acid when you're starving. Yes, that's, that's pretty trippy with some of the monsters there. It's kind of cool. I decided to start playing it again, especially because they're pretty soon coming out, I believe, is going to be the Don't Starve Together. So it's going to be multiplayer then with Don't Starve. And if you already have Don't Starve, the download for the Don't Starve Together will be free. So that'll be pretty cool then. So Now you have a friend to eat. kind of excited about that. I know. It should I be played the hell out of Don't Starve. So. Hey, exactly. Did you play the expansion, the Reign of Giants? Yes. Pretty awesome. All good stuff. Yeah, exactly. Great game. I got it originally on the PS4, and then I bought it for the PC because you know, you got to play it everywhere. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Steam. I just got an account. <laughs> hey! And then I remembered I don't have money. <laughs> Ooh. But I, I have plans to eventually start using it. Um, I was gonna get a copy of Don't Starve myself. It looked really fun, and I liked the art. It's like three bucks right now, isn't it? It's like I actually, it's, it's one of the daily. When stuff. I actually bought it, I got the multi-pack, so I am gonna gift her the uh, bonus. So is one I, I, I there, will so. eventually have a copy of that game. That should be fun. Um, <laughs> I, I have recently stumbled upon an awful game called Hot Tuffle Boyfriend. It is a dating sim for birds. <laughs> <laughs> They're all birds. <laughs> Everyone is a bird, except you. You are actually a human in a school for birds. <laughs> and it is the most, I, I watched a playthrough and it's the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to drop, when I get money, I'm going to drop it on this game. And they all, they have bird pictures. Once they're pigeons and fucking, oh God. <laughs> that sounds very Japanese. <laughs> it's. I, I guess I wonder why I want to play it, and then it's just like, you're a human at a bird school, and you live in a cave, and nothing makes sense. When you start the game, you have like, one wisdom, five charisma, and like 800 vitality. Like, the only thing you can do is run. <laughs> well, in comparison to a bird, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and as I watched um, someone play through it, I was like, you know what, this looks hilarious, I'm going to get this. So that's definitely my first plan. That is going to be the first game I buy. I have no shame. I also have no dignity. <laughs> Just like this podcast. Uh-oh. TIE Fighter wants to say something. I just wanted to add, I did uh, get Shadow Mordor as well. I haven't played it yet. I uh, haven't the time, but I'm really excited. But I'm also Shadow of uh, that's Shadow of Mortar, by the way, not Shadow of Mordor. Yeah, shadow of Mortar. You're it's about this really. You're laying some bricks in the shadows, actually. Yeah. It's really difficult. Uh, but no, I was actually I was say I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but this Steam sale has been really amazing. Most of like the, the daily deals are brand new games came out 2013, 14, and a lot of them are Steam uh, Greenlight games as well. I mean, out of past couple of years, this has been one of my favorite Steam sales. Absolutely. I had almost all of them. I mean, it's just not good. Well, that sucks for you because you buy everything, Rob. Exactly. But for people like me and stuff, like, this has been awesome. Like I said, I was getting games for my brother. I bought tons of games for him. It's There has been some phenomenal. great deals. I'll, I'll give it that. I mean, good games at good prices. Yeah. That's Steam, by the way. Good games at great prices. Yeah, yeah. That's true. We love you, Steam. We do love Val. They, we really do. Steam was the one of the best ideas yet. I love them more if they give me money. Yes. And and and, and, and send your send your advertising ideas to <laughs> Rob at guysgamesandbeer.net and we will definitely work out a nice deal to even advertise you more than we do for free already. That's right. Do you have a game that you're releasing? Come send it to Guys Games and Beer. Even if it's crap, we'll advertise it shamelessly. Damn straight, we will plug anybody shamelessly. We're good at that. That's right. All right, so it's time for the lightning round. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Lightning round? Oh, yeah. No, I got one more thing before lightning round. So, really? the, so the gentleman over here has started doing a YouTube thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Lightning round. Wait, what? No, not lightning round yet. Not lightning round yet. Not yet, not yet. I hear YouTube. Twitch actually is what we're going to be streaming through. We're going to be streaming a uh, playthrough of the game called Dokapon Kingdom. It's a game that originally came out for the GameCube and then was re-released on the Wii. It's has 
it's a game based on like a board game, but it has a whole bunch of RPG elements. You pick a class, you level up. You lose whole bunch your of friends. Really, yes, and <laughs> it was imported by Atlas, so I think that probably tells you what type of game it is there. Weird. It's pretty much a fuck your friends game as you're going through, so. It's like a weird bastard combination of like Mario Party and Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> We're. What? Drunk up Dork or Pond King Dumb. <laughs> one more time. One, one more time and really close to the mic. Dorkapon King Dumb. Totally going to link that up on the Facebook. Yes, we will totally link that up on our Facebook. Of course. Of course. King Dumb. Which, of course, since we're at halftime, I will tell you is at www.facebook.com slash guys, games, and beer. Hey, support my channel on YouTube. And, su and support the noob who we link to from pretty much everywhere. And my butt. And it's time for the damn lightning round. God okay. damn, I love the lightning round. It's time for the lightning round. Because I ain't going to talk about what games I got. I'm, I heard a lot. I'm pretty happy. Oh, wait, wait, Rob, Rob, how many games have you bought so far? Did, did this game sell a lot? Somewhere around 15. So, <laughs> a lot of indie stuff, you're though. Mostly indie. You're not going to touch, like, half of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're, you're, that's I have all. touched five of them. Just telling you, Nidhogg is fucking great. That game is a great game. Yeah, it's a sword fighting game. It's a side-scrolling sword fighting game. It is really good. There's a lot of nuance to the sword control, even though there's like five positions. It's really fun as hell. And it finally went on sale. I'm ready for the lightning round. Someone throw some heavy and hard at his paint. <laughs> this is nice. I, I like being here. What is the lightning round? Time for the lightning round. Game of the year. And one, one game, one game, damn it, and one thing that makes it great. Start of this, I have to Oh, really? Come on. Oh, this is horrible. Game of the year. One thing that makes it great. I don't think I've even played any new We've got the first pass. <laughs> don't worry, because we probably won't know. We're, we're idiots. <laughs> I said, I don't think I've played any new games this year. Yeah. So I don't... Jonah, game of the year? Do you got one? The crew. Yeah. OK, one reason why it's great. 40 minutes to drive from Chicago to Washington. That is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Forty minutes. Okay, here we go. Look, I can see the pressure. Game of the year. Pass. God damn. Pass. Kevin. <laughs> I, I'm hoping for some Soviet block game. Well, I mean, I do love my obscure European map games. Technically, none of them were released in 2014, however. They have received, one in particular has received several major updates throughout 2014, so I suppose it qualifies. I'll give you that, because we've had passes so far. <laughs> <laughs> how, how verbose can I be now? Um, no, no, but Europa Universal is four. It's, it's the, I, I do love my, my medieval people, game. but yes, it's just, you know, exploitation and being a, a bastard and colonialist. I can understand why you like it so much. Alright, game of the year. Careful that I don't um, I know. I know. What do you think is happening? Right? I don't know. I, I pick a game I like and I, I could end up playing it for years. Like I played, I ended up playing Bayonetta for like 18 months after it came out in like 09. Oh my god it was. I'm not even talking about the Wii. I really wanted to play the one for the Wii U but I don't know. Oh, that's gonna turn out. I don't know. I like her hairstyle better. Hey, and wonder what? You like her short hair? I don't know what else to say. Because of her hairstyle. I'm going. How about Um, all I know is not Sims 4, because that was shit. I play Sims, so. So it's The Sims? Really? Not Sims. Not The Sims 4, but I play The Sims. Okay. Yeah. I was getting mixed signals here. No, no, no. Shitty game. So it's anything but The Sims 4? 
people in The Sims. <laughs> we'll kill she, them. What she, else she makes do you little, do? Uh, she makes little facsimiles of our life, like of oh, all no, our friends. Oh, that's, that's the other. Yeah. And then she finds like the girls that flirt with her boyfriend, <laughs> and then she like buries them in a hedge, right? In a hedge maze. What do we call that? Murder or the the, the murder maze or something? Murder, murder labyrinth. labyrinth. Murder labyrinth. Yeah, it's like oh oh you you care about my boyfriend, you die now. Everyone talks about The Sims like it's oh it's a casual game. Look how uh, look how casual it is. Then you like see people how weird they act when they play the game. I'm like hey Kim, what are you doing? It's like oh I just murdered this girl that talked to you. She's in the hedge now. I'm like oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not Sims 4, and that was kind of scary. I'm gonna go over here for a minute. Nah, no, just kidding. Hi, how's your game going? What's the game of the year? It's eh. Fucking this thing's gonna kill me. Game of the year? Rob, not now. <laughs> <laughs> I love when he's gaming. Game of the year. Um, none of the games I've played, been playing a lot lately, have been uh, released this year. Um, so again, Banner. This has been the lamest game of the year episode ever. <laughs> um, Three years of this, and they've all been lame, but this one has been the lamest. I gotta say. I would say uh, Banner Saga for last year, but this year I am going to be start, start to play uh, Shadow Mordor. And being the huge Lord of the Rings fan that I am, I guarantee that I'm going to love it. So I'll say Shadow Mordor. All right. Yeah, that came out. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I already, I already blew my load already before on a that show. That happens a lot. Yeah, I blew my load and I said Bayonetta 2. And the reason why is cine cinematonic acid mindfuck awesomeness game ever. It's just crazy what happens in that game and when you play it. I love Bayonetta too. Done. 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 I'm good. Like, okay. That's a good game. New bat. Can I just go with a little big pun at three? It's the only thing I really played other than The Wolf Among Us and then the Sims dating game that Noob and I have been playing. I've had 14... Nothings. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> uh, ben. Tic-tac-toe 2.0. You guys should have really gotten the update. The schoolyard has completely changed. Uh, other than that, nothing. <laughs> Tic-tac-toe. Talk harder. Okay, mount your friends. <laughs> oh, come on, you know it's an amazing game, all right? The game mechanics alone make it a game worth having. It's a game we play every weekend. That's right. Mount Your Without Friends. No, game. seriously, if you have not gotten this yet on Steam, get yourself a copy of Mount Your Friends. So much oh. dog. Oh my gosh, that game. I'm like, what you mean? I'm like, oh. Oh, oh. see? See? So now you know what I'm talking about. Oh. And now you got to crawl across Krause's game. No, no. There. God, okay. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Before you close this out. Before you close this out. Before I close this out. I Something. If you have not joined our Steam channel, I'm sorry, our, uh, yeah, our Steam channel, join our Steam channel. Friend Retro Rob. You want to find a prop guy who's got a real problem on Steam? Look up his statistics. Look at the hours played. No, it's oh. mostly hours stalled. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see if I, I can't bring it up. You of all, you of all people, no. It and is. I spend more time with games open just laying there. He does actually, he leaves them open. But that being said, Join our Steam channel, Guys Games and Beer, Friend Retro Rob, and then look up the statistics one time. It's kind of scary, actually. I buy a lot of games. I don't you, play a lot of you, games for more than a minute. Or two. Yeah, but I was going to say, you must leave them open for hours and hours. And Sometimes hours. overnight. Oh, my God, it's scary. Well, okay. I drink a lot. Well, right. I, mean, uh, I, I mean, I get busy. All right, well, thank you for watching the Guys Games and Beer New Year's special. It was special for me. I hope it was special for you. And for God's sake, beware the dolphins. Beware. <laughs> Come visit us at www.guysgamesandbeer.net. Win free games on our Facebook page. www.facebook.com slash guysgamesandbeer.